guys, so today I am sharing my current everyday makeup, which is simple but a little bit glamorous. And this is also a collaboration with Brittany Rosette. She is also sharing her everyday makeup and I will list her video below as well as in a card above. So what I've been doing lately is I've been putting makeup that I use quite often, want to use quite often, in my little cosmetics bag. This is my Fleur de Force cosmetics bag that I got from, I can't remember the name but I'll put it here. So I've been keeping it all in there and then I just pull it out each day. That's just what's easy for me when I don't want to think about putting my makeup on. So I pretty much always, not pretty much, I always wear a primer, let's be honest here. This one is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure, the one that apparently has no added oils in it. So it's good for oily skin like me. Like to be honest, like I don't see anything amazing about it. So I'm after a good primer. That one's almost finished. Uh, for foundation, I have been mixing two things to create my perfect base. And that is my Revlon Colorstay, what I normally use. And my SK2 or Activator CC Cream. Because I find that if I add a little bit of CC Cream in, it just gives my skin a little bit more moisture because I've been finding, like I said, one of my February favorites, I've been finding my Revlon Color Stay dries my skin out a little bit at the moment. I don't know, it's a bit weird. I've got my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Kabuki Brush. I hate foundation on my lips. So I have a bag of baby wipes. Oh, what's are amazing guys. Go to prime my eyes with my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. This is one thing that I never ever 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 skip. And I like to prime my eyes before I do my concealer underneath my eyes because I find when a little bit of concealer gets onto my eye before I've primed it, then that disrupts my eyeshadow and it creases quicker. See that? That's a blister from mowing the lawn the other day. <laughs> Going in with a little bit of concealer. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Ageless Concealer. I like using this one on blemishes because, I mean that's meant to go under your eyes. Um, because it's so thick, it just stays all day. If you have a favorite concealer for blemishes, let me know. And then of course we've got you up there, and you there who wants to come and say hello. You can just go back where you came from, I think. Some concealer underneath my eyes. Today I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And then right underneath my eyes. Just sort of dragging it down. And back. Then I've got my Sigma F64, the Soft Blend Concealer Brush. I love, love, love this brush for blending out my concealer underneath my eyes. Next, uh, whoo, well, I look like a ghost. Next I'm powdering my skin, and for that I'm using my MAC Blot Powder Pressed. Oh gosh, Kalia, why do you keep doing this? One day, you guys are gonna watch me fall. Oh, it's not gonna be pretty. I bought this powder as a backup ages ago well not ages ago but you know what I mean and forgot about it and then I was going through stuff and throwing stuff out and then I found it <laughs> now what I've been loving with my eyebrows is using my Chi Chi brow pomade this is the first time I've used pretty much anything but powder and I'm just loving it I am loving it it gives quite a strong fierce brow so if you're a little bit afraid of that you might just want to take it easy. Not everyone's a cup of tea, but it's mine at the moment. So I just brush them out first. Then I tend to start along the top. Get the corner. And then bring it down to the tail. And then this inner part is where it gets a little tricky. Because you want it to look filled in, but you don't want it to look drawn on, if you know what I mean. Then I'll get the spoolie under this brush. And just comb it through, just so those edges aren't as harsh. 
So now is when I tend to either bronze my skin or contour. I very rarely do both to be honest because it can come off a bit too much on my pretty fair skin. So what I've been doing to contour, because that's pretty much what I've been using the most now. Um, I use the Australis AC onto a contour and highlighting kit. I love this one. Here I go again. Got it. <sighs> so I'm going to use this middle shade here. Just one of these little brushes from one of the Benefit Box blushes. And then just go in. I know a lot of people don't include contouring as part of their everyday thing. And you know, like up until now, I never have. Um, but I just like the look of it currently. So that's just what I'm doing at the moment. I mean, we all go through different phases of what we want to do with our makeup and what we don't. And at the moment, I feel like contouring daily. So that's what I'm doing. I also go along my jawline. Then I grab a different brush. This is the Zoeva Lux Sheer Cheek. Yeah, 127 Lux Sheer Cheek. And then just stamping it around my forehead hairline because I have a large forehead. Actually, I have done a in-depth contouring and highlighting video. Um, so I will link it up here and down below for you guys to watch if you're interested. After contour or bronzer, whichever I do on the day, is then blush. So two blushes that I've been using constantly, pretty much for the entire year so far, <laughs> has been two from Hourglass. So the first one, which is probably what I've been using the most, has been Incandescent Electra. The other one has been this one here, Dim Infusion, which is a little bit um, peachier, definitely nowhere near as pink as let me just show them side by side nowhere near as pink as incandescent electra so this is more of a pinky peach and this one is just like straight up warm peach um they're both stunning but i've been leaning more towards incandescent electra just because it's a little bit more shimmery i love my shimmery bl blushes shimmery blushes shimmery blushes try and say that that's hard I think I may have overdone just a touch. So I'm just going in with my powder brush and just lightly tapping away. Yep, all good. The next thing is highlight. Just for an everyday highlight, I go with my Hourglass Incandescent Light Highlight. So it is actually, what's that blush? It's actually the same uh, powder that is in this blush that I just used, so those lighter bits in there, it's the same highlight, the same powder. I don't know, it just looks natural and like, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? I love it. Girls with large pores like myself, you, you can get away with these. Like, you don't even have to get away. You can use these. These are amazing for, for large pores. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, worth every penny. <laughs> it took quite a few pennies. Next for eyes, I'll zoom you in. So for eyes, I've just been using, firstly, my Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow in Playa del Pink, a nice, cool, shimmery pink. Very light. Just gonna shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna have to get another one of these. I'm almost all through it. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid and then I will be blending it out using my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. Got that all over my lid. Taking that brush and blending out the edges. Then I have my Makeup Geek palette here. Uh, so through my crease, I'm just going to take a nice brown, this one here, which is called Barcelona Beach. And it's just a really nice, cool tone mid brown. So I've got that on my 228 Luxe Crease brush from Zoeva. Then I take my Hakuhodo brush, take a little bit of Barcelona Beach and just run it along my lower lash line. 
So for my eyeliner, I'm just using my regular Maybelline gel liner. The brush that I use is a Sigma E06 wing liner brush and I am just loving it. Like look how tiny that brush is. It's really tiny, but it's really great for winged liner or just liner in general because you can just, it's, it's really precise and it's thin and it's pointy and I just love it. Favorite eyeliner brush. Does anyone have a good eyeliner eye and a bad eyeliner eye. This is my good eyeliner eye, which is my left, which is funny because you think my right would be my good one because I'm like right everything. But my left eye is my good eyeliner eye. My right brow is my good eyebrow. Does anyone else have that? <laughs> so I do tend to do like a little bit of a mini wing with my eyeliner just for every day, you know, whatever, just, <laughs> You know, you only live once, winged eyeliner every day, doesn't matter. And I tend to do my wing with my eyes open first. I just feel like I can get the shape a lot better. Mascara, I have been using my Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions. This mascara is a repurchase. I really, really like it. And then for lips, I generally go with a really bright lip just because my eye makeup is a bit more on the simple side. So I've been using my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. And that's it for my current everyday makeup. Pretty simple, but still a little bit glamorous because that's how I like my makeup. Make sure you check out Britney's video and channel. I will have it linked up there as well as down there. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.